in part three, we're going to do an actual issue. We're going to test it. We're going to see the before and after. Make the submission just like we would normally do. So let's head over to the desk and get started. <laughs> If you go to this link here, which is covered in the testing instructions, it's right down here. Download your patch tester. This is the one that we're at now. We're in this section, okay? So, if you come down here to the patch tester, go ahead and download it. And we can just set it on our desktop. And it's done. And just like any other Joomla, extension we just simply install it and we told it's on our desktop and where did I put it right there okay it's installed now it is a component so we go to components Joomla patch tester and we go to options and we want to make sure it says Joomla CMS and then for authentication, we want it, on, want it on credentials. And then put in your GitHub username and password. Okay, save and close. Okay, so let's go to our patch tester again. And we're going to fetch our data. So once you've got your username and password entered for GitHub, then it'll start pulling all the current issues that are in the Joomla CMS GitHub repository. Okay, everything's been done. We can close this little window. And you'll see all of the issues. Alright. Now, in the beginning, we talked about issue 10551. So let's do a search for 10551. And here's our issue. You'll see here we can go look at the issue on GitHub. So we can read all the details about it. We can go look at the at the issue on the issue tracker like I showed you earlier this is the initial report what the problem is how to test it all right and then here we can apply the patch now <clears throat> we, before you ever apply the patch when you're testing an issue make sure that you can see the issue the person's talking about if you can't see the issue he's talking about then you can't possibly test that it works because you don't know that it fixed anything. All you know is that it, has, that it does what the guy says it does. Okay? So, now what we need to do is we need to find the exact testing instructions and do what that tester, what the person who wrote the PR says to do. In this case, he says, please install this plugin. Alright? So, let's, and in this case, it's on GitHub. So we'll download it as a zip. Therefore, it should be fully installable. Okay, we've got it. We'll go back to Joomla. And I'm going to cheat. I'm going to open the second instance. And I'm going to install it. Where is it? Center piece right there. Okay. It's installed. Great. So he says install it. Activate both the system cache plugin and the page cache, cache plugins. So let's go do that. And we're going to look for cache. We have two. Let's go ahead and turn them on. Okay, great. They're on. Once you've done that, clear your page cache. Clear your page cache, which it should already be clear, but let's just go ahead and do, do that. System, clear cache. It's clear. So, then he says, load a page. Page, cache page should have one cached file in it. All right, so let's try that URL. I don't think that's what he meant, but that's what the instructions say, so let's give it a test. Here's our page. Okay. And he says, clear your page cache, load a page, blah, blah, blah. Should have one cached file in it. All right. 
let's go to that folder. So we're on nerd, we're in dub dub dub. Let's go to cache page. And there is indeed one file in it. Okay, so it says now reload the same page a few times. Okay, so let's back up. Back up again. Okay, let's go ahead and do a full reload. So we'll do a control R or a control F5. We'll do it two, three times. Okay, great. Let's go back. Let's refresh. And you see you only have one page. So let's see what he says about that. Okay. So, the, it is not there. You do not have two or three cached files in it. All right. That's probably the problem. Let's do a test and find out. So, now we're going to apply the patch. And what, remember, what we're looking for is different behavior. And that that different behavior matches what the person said it's supposed to be. All right. So, we're going to load this file again. And again. And let's go check that was two and sure enough there it is so we can confirm that in fact it does load it multiple times okay great so let's go back to our issue tracker and we go up here or we said we tested so we t click on test tested successfully without the Patch the supplied plugin. One thing I like to do when that happens is I like to give an example of exactly what I saw. And to do that, I just simply cut and paste. Hello, up. My little cat's crying because she wants attention. All right, so now go ahead and submit your test results. And you'll see that it's done that we said it tested success successfully. Okay, we go down here. Here's our little test. Okay. Now, if we click that, we can go. Well, actually, what we can do is we can go to GitHub. Uh, here's our PR here. And let's go ahead and do a refresh just so I can show you. And you'll see here where we made the comment. All right. Now, we can, if we want to, edit this comment. And let's go ahead and add our test image. So now there's our little image showing what it looked like. Now that we've tested that, we want to make sure that our system is back to the clean state that we started with. So let's go ahead and revert the patch. And now our system is back to the default Joomla install. Okay. And that's all there is to being a tester for Joomla. So that concludes our PR testing for Joomla series. We hope you had fun. Come back and see us again. Good night. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and the subscribe button which is here somewhere and feel free to leave a comment. Bye. -bye. <laughs>